In this week's episode of Working With Work, I'm going to take you into how I have my email set up. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Work and in this week's episode I have want to talk about my email setup because this week we heard the very sad news that my favourite email application, that's Newton Mail, is going to close at the at next month which will be September 2018 for those of you watching this video in the future. Now basically I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how I have email set up because although Newton is closing down I actually found it very easy to transfer all my email settings back to Apple Mail which I used to use and did use for many many years until maybe two years ago when I switched over to Newton Mail. And I realised that actually because I have a good strong setup with email it didn't actually take me very long to get it all working and set up nicely in Apple Mail again. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to show you how I have it set up. So for those of you who really suffer with email and have never been able to get it under control, I'd just like to show you how I have it set up and how I use Inbox Zero, what I call Inbox Zero 2.0. So we're going to go into my email program in a moment. I'm going to show you it through Apple Mail, but this whole system would work whether you're using Gmail, Outlook, Apple Mail or any other email system, whatever one is your favourite, this system will work. I should also point out that I actually do use an, an additional plugin called Mail Butler, which is a fantastic little application which just gives Apple Mail that little extra functionality that I actually do find useful, particularly the delayed email or uh, I, I suppose what we call um, scheduled email sending. But we'll get into that when I go into my email program. So before we do that though, I would just like to say if you like this video, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's go into my email program and I'll show you how I have it set up. Okay, so here we are in my email program and what you can see here is I have a number of, these are just default folders that I have on my that come with Mac although there's a couple of things that I should point out one for example here archive you'll notice that I have my three main accounts I also have one which is to do with my wife's business account because I check it more than she checks her own account but essentially we have um, my various things down here but the things that I really want to show you are what I have right here so what I want to do is I've got my today action this day and reference and these are really key parts of the whole system so essentially today is all the email that i've received today that i've not that i've actually put into a specific folder now of course i've got more email than just three in today and i did do some testing earlier because i tried to record this on my laptop but it didn't work very well um all the other email that i've done with that's either been dealt with or archived and these are emails that have come in today and essentially that's not really what I look at very often but action this day is something that I do operate on now this is a smart folder and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this and show you what it is so this is any message in my action this day from my um, Carpaline account, my FES account and my iCloud account, those three ones and as you can see down Carpaline.com account has an action this day folder nothing in it at the moment my FES has nothing in it at the moment and my iCloud has the three email in there so when I go to their action this day those are the only ones that are in there that's essentially what I'm working from now what you'll see is up here um, I'm just going to remove these because as I've been messing around this has all got messed up a bit so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this action this day into here uh, it's, by the way, you can set these up on your top line. So everything is now working up here. So I can close that off. So this is essentially how I have my Apple Mail set up on my desktop. So now I can go into my action today. I can go into there. I can go into my inbox. 
So I can actually navigate around my uh, various and um, various uh, folders, smart folders, basically using this top menu line, which is really, really useful. So I'm just going to go back in there and open because there is another one that you'll see here, which is called reference. And each one of my accounts have a reference um, account there. So as you can see now what I use this for is for basically projects that are ongoing or like in this case here I've got tickets for uh, a concert I'm going to in September and I've got flight details to Hong Kong also in September so I've got these are really important now once those events have finished I will remove those from this reference folder as you can see it's very manageable there's not that many in there I've got an email here from e Karen, which is just a, to um, because we're trying to set up a date for a class uh, I got one from Daniel again that's actually an ongoing project that I'm working with with Daniel and I've got one with for with from Cherin which is another ongoing project which will end on Monday so that's just in there until Monday on Monday once I finished with that project that will be removed and I'll just move that off to archive by just dragging across like that and I can just move that to archive so that's just basically how I have my email set up but on a day-to-day -day basis this is not open now Quite often what you'll find is, I'm just going to, uh, I have these ones in here, let's just take this, I'm going to move that into my inbox because I want to show you what we can do. So at the end of the day when I'm processing email, uh, I will usually just set this up. So I've got this email that's come in from myself, I should say, and I will just um, deal with this email. Now let's just say it's an action this day, I just drag it into action this day down there, but it's not, so I'm not going to do that. Now. I mentioned in the introduction that I also use an application called Mail Butler and I'm I just love Mail Butler. It's got a lot of features that you can use. Now this video is not about Mail Butler and if you want to learn more about Mail Butler then of course you can go on to their website which I think is mailbutler.io. Uh, I'll put a link to it in my in the notes section below so if you're more interested in it. Let's just say that this email is a very important email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a task and I'm just going to say this, I can't spell because I'm doing this on my, this is important. And I'm just going to hit return. And that's now going to, although it doesn't look like anything's happened, that's now going to go off to my Todoist inbox. But there's something else. And this is one thing that I really do love about um, Mail Butler is it's an Evernote integration. So create a quick note which would just automatically send that or create note. When I click on that, that's going to open up this and it sends it directly to my Ev uh, Evernote's inbox. Absolutely fantastic because that just saves me so much time. Bang, Evernote inbox. And also it's got the Todoist integration which I loved about Newton was its Todoist integ integration. Well with Mail Butler I can turn my Mac Mail in with a Todoist integration which is fantastic. The other thing I use with Mail Butler is if I was replying to this email, so I click reply, um, I can then send this here. As you can see, I've got a delayed send and <laughs> it wants me to, I have to set up a mail, but, but I don't usually use uh, this with my mail account, dot mail account, but um, what I do generally do is I use this to send uh, my business email. Sometimes I will send at a more better time for them rather than me so I can set do a delayed send or I can just send it regularly just there which is one of the beauties I, I really like about uh, Mail Butler but anyway that's that that I wanted to talk about so essentially that's how I have it set up everything's getting grouped together into my smart mailboxes my action this day the today emails and the reference emails these are the three mailboxes apart from my inbox of course that I'm using when I'm processing I'm dragging and dropping into this sidebar which I don't always have open but yeah it is open sometimes and essentially that's it that's how I am using mail and it really does work I never have any problems as you can see if I go to my inbox this now can be removed so it's archived I see this message and this sidebar more often than I see anything with email in it I never use my inbox as a storage area because I have these folders here which are storage if you're wondering by the way where my archive is my archive is up here for each one all my emails will go in there I actually color code them sometimes um, as you can see in here there's going to my fan court but some of these are color coded because I've been playing around with them um, and 
I have these basically set up here. So essentially that's all it is. But it's a beautiful system, it works, and I never have any problems dealing with my email. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Working With Work. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd just like to tell you about my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Now, if you are new to productivity or even if you're an old hand to productivity systems, this beginner's guide is designed especially for you. It's around about a one hour long online course that will give you all the tips and tricks that you need to build your very own productivity system so that you can start focusing in on the things that are important to you and start building a life that you can be very happy with. I just want to say thank you again so much for watching this video and I hope you join me in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Details on how to enroll in that course are in the show notes below or you can click up there or on the, on the, the video link there. It'll give you all the details that you need to get yourself into this course. Thanks again.